Now day six in the murder trial of Brian Cohey Jr. at the Mesa County Justice Center. Our Rob Hagan, who's been covering the trial from the start, reports on the latest developments in court today. He joins us now live from the Justice Center. Rob, uh, what can you tell us? Mike, on Monday, evidence was shown to the jury that brought some to tears. Well, today, video evidence capturing Cohey's last steps before the brutal murder was shown. And one of the people who knows Kohi best took the stand, his closest friend. It was another cold day during a trial that chills most people to the bone. Day six of the People versus Kohi. One of Kohi's closest friends who still considers Brian a friend to this day took the witness stand for a second day. Monday, Brian's bestie told prosecutors Kohi does know the difference between right and wrong. But Tuesday, she told the defense she can't possibly know what's in Kohi's head. She says Kohi had a morbid curiosity interested in grotesque things like killing and serial killers since freshman year of high school. The prosecution presented her with a comic strip Kohi drew and shared with her in the past, illustrating a morbid sense of humor as a customer asks a goth waitress, where's the food? With her replying, I'm the food, showing a decapitated head in a bed. The witness said Kohi was no different than any other friend of hers. She said they all share patches of tough times with their mental health as young adults and talked about the morning of March 1st when the two shared breakfast before Kohi was said to peel out from the driveway of her mother's home moments before he was arrested for murder. The prosecution then called an investigator with the DA's office to the stand who booked Kohi's cell phone and wallet into evidence. Prosecutors showed the jury surveillance video from the Shell gas station at First and Grand. It shows Kohi pulling in to fill up the night of the murder, February 27th, about 10.15 p.m. Last Friday, they showed video of Kohi's interrogation and confession. He tells investigators that night he was driving around for so long seeking a victim he had to stop to fill up and accidentally cut his hand on the very knife he used to murder Barnes. Now, after Kohi left that shell station, video surveillance from the courthouse cameras and cameras from the sheriff's office captured Kohi driving right past the courthouse at 10.56 p.m. on Main Street towards the Crosby underpass. And by the way, that's just four minutes before the brutal murder of Barnes. Court continues tomorrow, and I'll be there. Until then, first on the Western Slope and live outside the Mesa County Justice Center, Rob Hagan, KREX 5 News. Mike. Thank you, Rob. Mental health and